What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I just got done watching Sylvester Stallone's Samaritan. I'm a huge Stallone fan, so I couldn't wait to check it out. I thought it sounded like a cool premise. It's like this, you know, superhero that you know, presumably died 20 years ago and now he's resurfaced. So I uh, gave it a look, what I think. Stick around and find out. All right, now before we get going on this uh, review for Samaritan, if you're new to my channel, please get on down there, hit like, subscribe, smack that notification bell. We do all kinds of fine stuff, not just movie reviews, but I also get out there and I do uh, Blu-ray hunts for you guys, box office breakdowns, unboxings, top tens. I get out to local exhibits and conventions and do full tours for you guys. I have live morning shows every Tuesday morning. And every other Monday, I try to do a trivia contest if everything works out. Those are really fun. The last one was excellent. We got another one coming up next Monday on September 5th. So if you guys are around, please come check that out. Those are a lot of fun. All right, now let us get into Samaritan. Now, Samaritan, again, stars Sylvester Stallone. It's rated PG-13 and runs about an hour and 42 minutes. And it's basically the story of this young boy that learns uh, that a superhero who he thought had gone missing after an epic battle 20 years ago uh, may in fact still be around. And that is Stallone and this kid. Now I will say, let me uh, chat briefly about the rest of this cast. Now also in this film is a young actor named Jovan Walton who plays Sam Cleary, who is the basically the co-lead of this film. And, you know, I've, I've said it before, I'll say it again. A movie can be, um, you can make or break a film with a bad young actors or animals, right? And this kid is actually really good because, you know, sometimes you just see kid actors and you go, oy vey. But he holds his own. He has really good dramatic moments that, that he holds it together and expresses, like, really good deep emotion and stuff like that. So I have to give credit to this kid because he is, like, sort of 50% of this film. Uh, and he holds it up really well with Stallone. Now, additionally, we have Dasha Polanco, who plays this kid's mother. Pilu Azbek, hope I said that name right. He plays Cyrus, who's the, the bad guy in the film. And one of his henchmen, Sophia Tatum. And Moises Arias is in this film. Now, if any of you uh, Hannah Montana fans are out there, you'll probably be like, hey, I know that guy. So yeah, so be on the lookout if you're a Hannah Montana fan, he is in this film. Now, uh, so let's just get into it and how this film is made and does it work and all that good stuff. So what I do like about it is Sylvester Stallone is definitely older in this film. He's about what, 76 now, I think. And he's showing his age for sure. But I like that he plays that in the film. He doesn't shy away from it. You know, Stallone back in his day, he really is a superhero in all of his movies. He's just this unstoppable machine that you think no matter what, Stallone's gonna save the day. But here he is actually playing a superhero who's aged quite a bit, used to be a little bit more spry, a little bit stronger back in his day, uh, but not so much so now, but still pretty good. So anyway, yeah, so this kid thinks he's a superhero and comes to realize that, yeah, I think this is who I think it is. You'll see it in the trailer. Yeah, if you see it in the trailer, Stallone's hit by a car and then basically, you know, like his bones, he, he cracks back to normal. And the kid's like, yeah, I knew it, you know? So that's, that's where the story kind of kicks in and the kid befriends Samaritan, AKA Joe Smith is his name, right? Like Joe Smith, he's very like, he tries to blend in, right? He doesn't want to stand out, he moves around and I guess he just keeps his name super generic, you know? Who, who knows what his real name is? I doubt it's Joe Smith. Uh, so one day those Samaritans coming back from his job, he's, he's like a, a trash guy and you know, he's always finding junk too, like junk that he fixes, he's a very handy person. And he brings it to a pawn shop and gets money and I guess that's how he stays, stays afloat, you know? And uh, he sees this kid get attacked one day by these bullies that's also part of a gang that's incorporating him into their world and trying to get him to do dirty deeds. And, you know, the kid is just looking for money. You know, his mom is uh, hard up for money. She doesn't have a great job. She's even borrows money from him at the beginning of the movie. So he says yes to these guys just because he needs money, not necessarily because he's a bad guy like, you know, Moises and his gang. And Stallone shows up and pretty much, you know, lays these dudes out. Again, this is in the trailer. Uh, and that's when the kid realizes you're, you're, you're him. You're the guy. So the relationship continues. It's, it's like I said, well played, nice, nice and strong. Uh, I don't want to tell you too much about this movie. I'm going to make this spoiler free. I'm not going to 
pull outside of the trailer. So if you watch the trailer, I'm not gonna say a certain something that they also left out of the trailer. There's a very key thing to this film that's not in the trailer. Because if it's in the trailer, it may start to, you know, tell you a little too much about the backstory. So I'm gonna keep it out of this review as well. So there you go. So, um, so you know, Stallone, then, you know, the, the kid gets too involved with the, the bad guys and the bad guys sort of, uh, you know, want to emulate the, the villain that Samaritan fought back in his day. And they, they find the mask and they like, you know, you know, cause an uprise. And it's a little unrealistic for one guy to just suddenly show up in the middle of an alley where people are like walking around and he gets up on a, you know, truck and he's shaking his fist and he's got the ha a hammer and he's like you know let's take back this town let's make it ours again and i'm like and everyone's like yeah i'm like really everyone's just like yeah so <laughs> you have to kind of roll with the fact that people are basically dumb a-holes that will follow anybody's suggestion who holds a hammer uh so out they go causing vandalism and all this stuff. I'm like, oh, really? And then, and then I started feeling bad for all the shop owners. <laughs> this is like the, the old guy and me. I'm like, oh man, that shop owner didn't do anything. He just stole all of his TVs and broke his window. And there you go. So there's confrontations and you know, Stallone's got to deal with them at the end. And, and you'll see, you'll see what happens. It's an interesting, an interesting ending. Uh, but it also shows me too where Stallone, I feel like I could kind of spot where sometimes there's a stunt double or a stand-in or maybe a, a CGI face replacement with Stallone. So th that's where I started to realize, okay, I think now's, now is when Stallone's starting to get a little too old to do these things. So this maybe this is his sort of a action swan song, but I don't know. I feel like I heard there was another Expendables on its way. So it never counts to load out, man. The guy's always going to turn out some hits. All right, so let's uh, let's call this review over. Uh, what would I give it out of five stars? Let's see, probably like three stars. I mean, it was solid. I wasn't too bored. It wasn't great. It's, I don't think it's a, a Stallone film I would revisit, but as a Stallone fan, I had to check it out. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, three stars is a fair review for this film. Uh, I wanted to like it a little bit more. But, but the, the tone of the film is just so dour and dark and, and the hues of the film is very grays and blues and stuff like that. And not a ton of humor, although there's a little humor. Some of it from Stallone is, I think, hilarious. So, uh, But yeah, so go check it out if you're a Stallone fan. I think you'll like it. I'm not sure what the rewatchability factor is for most of you guys out there, even if you're a Stallone fan. But go check it out. Samaritan starring Sylvester Stallone, currently on Amazon Prime. That is going to do it for now. Thank you so much for checking out this review for Sylvester Stallone's Samaritan. If you're new to my channel one more time, please get on down there, hit like, subscribe, smack that notification bell. Until next time, catch you guys later.